Hi friends, in today's video, we will discuss three phase voltage source inverter with 180 degree mode connection. So in this experiment, we will see how to plot the waveform of IV, VBA with output frequency 60 Hertz and a load of Delta with VDC given as 250 volt and resistance as 200 ohms. And at last, we'll calculate the THD of VAC. So in order to begin with the experiment, we need to know the pulse width. Here we are using a 180 degree mode connection. So in order to express it as a percentage of total degrees, we know in a one cycle, we have 360 degree connection. So when 180 degree is expressed as a percentage, you can see here as 180 by 360 into 100, which is 50 percentage. And the next parameter we need for this experiment is to find the phase delay. Phase delay of pulse generator one to six are given here. Each pulse generator will be turned on after 60 degree of connection. So for 360 degree of one cycle of connection, we have time period T. For one degree, so we can find from this above statement that T by 360 is the phase delay for one degree. So for zero degree, it will be T by 360 into zero. Pulse generator two will be turned on after 60 degree. So the phase delay will be T by 360 into 60. Here, T is equal to one by 60 because time period is one by frequency. And here frequency is 60 Hertz. Similarly for pulse generator three, the phase delay is T by 360 into 120 degree because for 360 degree, the time period is T. So for 120 degree, time period will be T by 360 into 120. And for pulse generator four, it is T by 360 into 180. As 60 degree conduction after 120 gives you 180 degree. Again, after 60 degree, it will be 240 degree of conduction. And the phase delay will be one by 60, that is time period into 240 by 360. And for pulse generator six, it will be T by 360 into 300. So this is the pattern for giving phase delays for the pulse generator. Pulse generator one has zero degree conduction. After 60, pulse generator two will be turned on. And after again 60, three, and this pattern will continue. Now we'll see how to simulate the same experiment in the MATLAB. For this, open the MATLAB window. First of all, save this. Save as experiment one. And then to begin with, we have to add the continuous tab into the MATLAB window. For that, search in library browser as GUI, G-U-I. And then add it to the MATLAB window. Next, we need the MOSFET for voltage source inverter. Add MOSFET to the model. To rotate the MOSFET, use Control plus R. To flip the MOSFET, click on the left button of the mouse. And there in format, below the format, you can see rotate and flip. There go for flip block, then choose left to right. We need six such MOSFETs. And then we need pulse generators. So here in view, Go for library browser and then search for pulse generator. Add pulse generator to the model. Then we need a DC voltage source. Then we need resistors. To get resistor, search series RLC branch. Connect to the DC source. We have given that DC voltage source is of 250 volt. So provide the value 250 in the column of amplitude, and then make the connections for voltage source inverters. 
from voltage dc voltage source give connection to the g of the first mosfet and then to the second mosfet and then connect the third mosfet similarly make the bottom connections interconnect each mosfet at the top and bottom side of a voltage source inverter and then take the pulse generator and provide at all switches we have already told the pattern of pulse generators each mosfet should be turned on after 60 degrees give connections to the gate of the mosfet Next, we have to connect RS in a delta connection mode. So first convert the series RLC branch into R by choosing the branch type as R. We have already given that resistance value is 200 ohms. So give the value as 200 ohms. We need three such resistors. We need to connect these resistors in delta mode. So let this be the first resistor. To rotate it, use control and R. And then connect this tip of the resistor to the A phase. And then connect the resistor to by rotating using control plus R. So this is how we make delta connection using three resistors. And then connect this tip to the C phase. We have already mentioned at the beginning that we have to measure the current IV. So go to view, then select library browser, and then browse for current measurement. We also need a voltage measurement block. Select voltage measurement. Make current measure main block connection between the B phase and the delta load. And then we need to measure the voltage between B and A phase. So connect VB And then we need to measure the voltage between one more phase. That is, first we need to plot the waveform of VBA and also we need a THT value of VAC. So we need one more voltage measurement block connected between VA 
and we see to measure the THD, go to library browser and view and search for THD block. Connect THD block to the voltage measurement block. To display the value, we need a display block. And to get the waveform, we need a scope. Connect scope to voltage measurement block. And then connect the display to THD block. We have made all our connections. Now we need to give pulse generators value. We know that the read is 1 by 60 hertz. So give 1 by 60. And then we know pulse width is 50 hertz. Sorry, 50 percentage. That is 180 by 360 into 100. As we have already explained at the beginning, 180 by 360 into 100 is equal to 50 percentage is what the pulse width is. And then to give phase delay for pulse generator 1, it is 0 because 1 by 60 into 0 by 360 is 0. And then for pulse generator 2, it is 1 by 60 into 60 by 360. So this is our pulse generator 2. Here we know 1 by 60 is the time period. And then we have pulse width as 50 and then phase delay. Pulse generator 3 is this one. Here we know 1 by 60 is the time period. 50 is the pulse width. Phase delay is 1 by 60 into 120 by 360. This is pulse generator 4. The time period is 1 by 60 hertz. Pulse width is 50. Phase delay is, we have done with 0 degree. 60 degree, 120 degree, and again 180 degree. And pulse generator 5 has time period 1 by 60 hertz. Pulse width expressed as percentage is 50. Phase delay is 240 by 360 into T. And finally, sixth switch has Time period 160, pulse width is 50, phase delay is 300 by 360 into time period. So now we have been done with all the connections and then now we can begin the simulation. So to view in two separate window, go to view option, select layout, and then select the pattern you want to see your waveform. And here you can see the voltage measurement has been connected to the scope, but we forget to connect the current measurement. So select scope with the left button of the mouse and then go to signals and ports option. And there you have number of input ports, select it as two, and then connect the current measurement block to the scope. And then once more simulate it by clicking on the run button at the simulation. Now let's see. So this is the required output waveform. And this is the required THD. So that's all with today's video. Thank you.